Alright. So we uh, we found the place on our way here to Venice. Three dollars fifteen cents. Yes, the gallon. Oh, we found it. See, I was complaining. I was saying you guys were a dollar more. But there are places to make it affordable. So now that we're budgeting again, you're going to see how quick the money goes. So I put in $17 just to make sure that we get through Malibu without having to buy their gas, even though it is a 76. I, and the, the store is really nice there and it's super clean. And they're just uh, the youth of some of the places further up. They think they own the place and they get upset with me when I make jokes like, do you sell Ipacos here at this new store called Ipaca? You know, yeah. And they're like, that's not funny, right? Go back to Santa Barbara. Oh, man. This is this one station where it's nice. I don't care about using the bathroom. It's just now I am driving on the sidewalk just to be able to stay and perhaps park here somewhere, but no. We've made it so goodbye, get out of here. Yeah, I could have, I would have rolled the joint there at the pump and just sat there and taken up the spot because I can't. All right, instead we're going to be going into this very next street over and it's suddenly this little, like we're in suburbia, we're back in Santa Barbara. So now I know wherever I park, unless it's a place like that that's empty, I think we were already here or it looks like another place, right here. Um, no, they're going to get worried. Those people are going to get worried. Why are you parking there? Yeah, see, this is the problem about the suburban area. They're going to turn the lights on this. See, why is he parked there? All right, so now we got to put the lift thing up. Let's put the lights. Thank you. Yeah, I am looking at my phone, just staring at it. What am I opening? Are you saying, what would it be worse? What would be worse if it's, it's the thing that's got um, all that sodium that I mentioned or um, something else? Okay, now I'm gonna have to do two things at once. Like Lucky Luke, I brought it up. I will be, um, I, he's a character, he's a Western character from a French, uh, from a French thing, uh, a French, um, cartoon he can roll cigarettes in the wind he's the good guy he's the protagonist i'm gonna roll with one hand do everything here and with the other hand my left hand see making it more difficult and you know that i'm left-handed i'll be holding you see like i'm houdini scorsese's phone to capture the audio moment and also make it look like I'm talking to my daughter. You've seen that's a really good trick. So we don't have to make the actual conversation. I'm just nodding my head and making the gestures like I'm really upset with her about uploading that video that was not kind of me. I was yelling at her from, I don't know where, Texas or something, telling her, like screaming at her, like, do you really think it's that easy you know, to wire you this money, just uh, please listen to that one Iggy Pop recording and then I will wire it to you. That's I do that. I'm like, if, because it's going to be so difficult for me to get this money to you and I'm going to be screaming and yelling and talking into your telephone and leaving a message that you later laughingly upload. Do you think like anyone now who's wondering why I'm making all the movies? Yes, I'm spiting you guys. I put the movie up there. Yeah, me. That's me eating a sandwich wrong. Yeah. That's me on the floor saying, what? I rehabbed how many times? Yeah. Well, I relapsed and rehabbed. You know, at least I'm not living with Courtney Love anymore. Right? I have good qualities. I'm a good person. I don't have to keep doing this. Now I'm talking to you at the same time and I'm rolling. I'm doing it and I'm doing it right handed. I'm doing it and doing it well no good do you see how they had to work that one that's l cool j l cool j he was always licking his lips at one point of his life not now anymore but at this time it was the thing 
It was like sex. He'd be licking his lips and going, doing it, doing it, doing it. Well, I'm not sure if it's well or good. I mean, correctly, it would be doing it well. But I always say good, right? That's not good. The graffiti on the bench for Kurt Cobain's not good. The graffiti under the bridge, either one, Keats's bridge or Kurt Cobain's, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, it doesn't make me feel well, right? It doesn't make me feel well about anything. It feels like I want to jump into a well, perhaps. Yes, I just did the switch. Did you guys feel it? Ah, I dropped the right hand. It's a magic trick. And while the neighbors were staring at, trying with their binoculars to figure out what phone number I was using, right? What, well, not what phone number. What's the area code of the service I'm using? And would my phone work up in the hills by the sign? And these are questions I've been asking all through the day and night of this 1833 adventure, which has suddenly become very sad because that cello might be fake. If it's fake, maybe it wasn't made in 1833, right? I know it's French. I know by the way it sounds. And I know I love the sound. And I know it's French. But maybe it's not this French imposter guy that I was so excited because he was an imposter. Maybe the guy who sold it to me was the imposter, but he shouldn't have been because he'd known me so long since I was a little boy. Do you see where this is going? He calls me and then he dies of a heart attack right afterwards. And all I did was look at the photo he sent me and and right away, I think it was like four in the morning. It was like my PI movie, how it got removed. He writes it like going, Do you, can you figure out this riddle, right? So there's a pile of things. It didn't look like my cello at the time, but it was in black and white. See, that's where I learned black and white's really good for these details about the reds and the browns. Yeah, ouch. Unless you use special filters that cannot be found in the iPhone. 11, drop it with the Bolex lens. If you drop your phone, it might survive. If you drop a Bolex that has Leica lenses, you're breaking like three wonderful quality lenses, right? It, it's not those little dots that are the size of a, a micro nano, right? That's even a word. If I made it up, it should be a word because that's the only thing I can say to certain people, to their, the size of their, of their equipment when, when it comes to using their brain. That's all I'm talking about when they're like flapping at the mouth, we used to say. Like you're flapping at the wind, like a doggy just sticking his head out the window. Oh, maybe we should start looking at the map here if we're, we plan to get to Venice Beach. Reality check, you're not that funny. But I can play the cello, so, and I have it here, I can prove it. You have no bow. Dude, I didn't think that thing out, right? Oh, I didn't, I thought he was gonna give me another bow. See, I, the delusions of grandeur. So excited that he gave me at least some sort of money. That was nice, and I got to get into the shop. He didn't throw me away like a homeless person. But I don't see myself doing pizzicato on Venice Beach. I'll, you'll never hear it. And now that we know that, that, all right, it's my mama. Oh, shoot, I missed her. All right, I'm gonna call my mama, see if it'll keep recording. But um, I guess we were going the right speed because that cop isn't doing anything. But uh, yeah, there we go, 188 miles. It says we're doing, we're getting like 40, 56 miles to the gallon. Not today, yeah, I don't understand how you, the air conditioning is on full. It's now 90 degrees. I am sorry that I made fun of the scorcher. I had no the sense of time. There are certain things that do that to you, right? You've heard that one. Did you ever get in a situation? We are coming toward Mel's drive-in, though I do know that. 
place I'd like to go and sit down and just eat whatever. But I don't think we can do that. So we're going to find an outside place. That's what we're doing. We're eating. We're going to see if we can track down some Super 8 film and that book. And we don't have to play. We just have to keep the cello from melting any further. And uh, if you guys do want me to play, if you're that excited, uh, just bring me a bow. I will play with anything. The guy, I gave you his coordinates. He's got a whole bunch, I told you, in the garden. The gate's open right now. You can walk in there and just snag one. You could. I'm not going to say you should. Uh, they're not in good quality. You're not going to get much. I'm going to tell you that. And be like, you should probably go get it rehaired. And then it's probably on a list somewhere. And then you get busted. So don't do that, any subscribers of mine. But any of you haters, if you're bored and you want to have some fun and be part of the trilogy, please try it out. All right, back to seriousnesses. Um, we are blindly following the Google. I, I see a mountain with smog. Like, we're still going toward this mountain with smog. It does not make sense that the ocean would be there, Mr. Google. Oh, yeah, you want me to turn left now? Right now, you changed your mind. No, I'll do it in three miles if you want. All right, how far is this ocean that you said was only 20 minutes and now it's gone to 27 minutes? And you are not even recalculating. You're just saying, go that way. Like, we must go now to the lift thing. Did I put lift in there? Did I say lift? Yes, I did say lift. Snowden, you're here. When did I say sniff? Sniff. It was in a comment, and you misunderstood it. You thought I was sniff sniff coming over right now for some festivities. No, sniff sniff means I'm sad. And there's the 76. I could have waited. All right, we have arrived. But, all right, here we go. That's just a couple feet away. It's 325 at the Chevron. Uh, it's 325 at the Van Nuys 76. But just a couple minutes ago where I was driving, right, that shell that I had to go to, right, because it's the cheapest. I had to do it, people. I had to break down. Um, 311. So just so you know, I know it must be random here, but if you're chasing around down, oh, shit. Now, how does this left thing work you got you got the arrow it's red I could go nobody's moving but I'm feeling like the guy behind me wants me to go into the intersection oh I'm sorry it's a woman um, I just have that feeling see they're not honking but it's the feeling it's the feeling of the road is odd and I'm wondering is it the, where the lights are why is it because it's kind of crooked? See, it doesn't mention any of this in the book. That's why I'm going to get the one book, um, Dan Fonte, where he's a cab driver in L.A. And uh, I'm going to read it and come back. And that's going to be my new channel, right? Is to do this book Dan Fonte style. So I will be drinking while driving. Mm -hmm. That's why I got to fix this situation with Dan. See, you... What we said, like Coors Light, forget it, millennials. Especially if you're driving around LA. It's just not cool. That's not your gin and juice kind of song, right? Mm. Oh God, I needed that. It's gonna be a scorcher. They just put that in my mind and I'm like, all right, I must drink. Uh, only one thing will quench this craziness of mine, this madness. All right, so on the corner, we, it's making us go around in circles, of course, but this is for the video, I suppose. Um, on the corner of Van Nuys and Mortar Park is the shell that I went to that has the V power. We didn't do that. For 311, regular gas, just, you know, cheap gas, the stuff you want to get if you're going to make any sort of money driving for Lyft. See, I brought it back to the tutorials. I will always be helpful. I'm not giving up on you guys. I'm just saying, give it up. You're making me mad. That's all. The Vapor Star. Like, like, oh, there's a classic bar. The Barrel. 
Cocktail Sports Bar. Oh, yes, the John Taffer Nightmare. You got the vape spot right next to it, right? You got it. With the health nut across the street and a fitness and wellness. You see the fights? Yeah, you have to come in just to break up the gang warfare. Now, I hate this too, it just keeps telling me to go straight, but it's giving me all these arrows doing many different things. I think it's telling me my future. Is that what you're doing? Why is it becoming longer? Is that what happens when you die? Is life like too short and death it's just all, oh, right? Too long? That's, that doesn't want me to sleep at night, right? Especially when life isn't going the way I had planned. I'm just saying, so that I can say that expression and be hip and say that's what they said, right? I get to do the nice thing. She's like, can I come over into that lane? And I was like, right away, no problem. Sometimes they don't get this. You're like pleading and begging and they're just staring at you and they got the, the, the radio on full blast, right? And they're going, I can't hear you, right? They're doing that, but they know exactly what you're trying to do, but they're telling you, I need a joint. And I'm going, well, I can give you one, right? But they're not getting it. They're just telling you their life story. They're like, I'm doing this road rage with you, not allowing you to express yourself by just getting into the lane with the rest of us. You've decided to join us. Why can't I join your team? We are now going north. Should we, we have the choice now just to take that Ventura. We got four open lanes. Or it's Santa Monica, dudes. Uh, we have a... All right, people, you're in the game. You get to decide. Do we go back to Santa Barbara with the money and a full tank of gas? Or do we risk it for Dan Fonte? We said that was what we were going to do. Uh, maybe we're going to do it for Morrison, too. We're doing it if we do it for one more person. Kurt Cobain wants to go. All right. Bourdain's on board. Goffman's joining us. Lenny Bruce is even getting... Robin Williams is deciding not to study. All right. It just told us to get on the wrong freeway. No, we're on the right way. It's just telling us to bend, be bending. All right, we're taking, what are we taking? Santa Monica. So this is the place where it says Santa Monica and then 405 Sacramento. This is for you taking my driving courses in Los Angeles. If you're coming to Santa Barbara and this is the way you were going north, it's telling you west, it's telling you south, but you're going north, it's coming home. You're coming home to Santa Barbara. You're going to get to that decision-making where you have four free lanes. Nobody wants to go there. And it's saying Ventura. I know you're saying, no, I don't want to go there again. Well, you, don't worry. Rincon's right after it. Um, do it. If you have any sort of last-minute decisions to be stuck in the beast of Los Angeles, because now we are now turned directly in a different direction, opposite, going back in exactly where we came out, right? But we took a couple freeways, we did some wheeling and dealing. Amazing, right? Yeah. The courtyard, courtyard Marriott, do you remember? I said that to you yesterday. Can you see this? This is a day in Los Angeles. We are now going back to the Getty. I don't want to be on this. This is the worst one for you to have your air conditioner decide to overheat your car and, you know, melt your battery where the uh, hole is that the mice made, those little rodents. All right now we gotta go nine miles back the way we came. I knew Venice Beach was there. I could smell the ocean, but the car Ford and the freeways didn't allow it. So I'm gonna go back to that lesson. Three things will happen to you when you're taking that 101 from the Getty Museum going taking the diamond lane that's the one where you have to have four people in there uh, they can't be mannequins that's an old Steve Martin routine uh, you, you will 
get to the signs that say 405, right? You must decide, oh, I'm not going to do the 101 anymore. Yeah, that'll be your decision. There'll be two signs, both of them 405. All of them saying they're going the same way, actually. They're all going north towards where you want to go, right? See how they can fool you. But one of them, this one we're taking, Santa Monica, will take you right back to the point A, the gas station that you were at. That's the game. Fun, right? I'm sorry, I couldn't get more creative about that. The other one that we're not taking right now, including the one, you know, taking us home. We've already decided that. This is taking us right back to Sunset, right back to Olympic, right back to Wilshire. But we... If we were in the carpool lane, if there were more of us uh, than just in my head, right, my dead roommates, uh, we'd be able to be in that lane and drive much faster and get worse gas mileage um, and not get there as quick. That's the freeway here in LA. That's the freeway here in LA. Here's some road signs. Mahalan Drive. Did you guys hear that one? Were we not just on that? Yeah, I know. American Jewish University. That's nice. I didn't say that sarcastically. No, we're, we're coming up to the suburb of the past. That's where I'm sarcastic. All right, we are going to now just go down this 101, back into the beast to get to Venice Beach. I don't know, know how we got so far out of Los Angeles. We were across the street. We were across the street at the gas station. I spoke to you for 10 minutes. And we are now going back to the Getty Museum. That I don't have tickets, I don't want to go. But I can see their little thing now going up. They have gondolas. Yeah, they have gondolas now that go up there. Because of the COVID. They used to have um, Himalayan um, alpacas. That's why I, got, I asked the guy in Malibu, right, about the alpaca store. I know, they're just snarky kids. They're valley girls, they don't get it. They, you know, they feel entitled. It's point two now. It's not the same place. Dan Fonte wants me to rub their noses in it. He wants me to drive around, like in the book, drinking, till I get my anger management so furious that I find these little whippersnappers and I teach them a lesson. That's all. Fun times. Fun. Baby, baby, I like your lips. Fun. Baby, baby, I like your... Oh, we. Oui. One more time. Fun, baby, baby, we like your pants. Fun, no, it's wrong order. We like your lips. All right, all aboard for fun. Are you having fun yet? Would I like to see something really scary, you say? The Mickey Mouse Club Zone. I have not heard. Where are all these sitcoms coming from? We're driving back into the beast. All right, Jim Morrison. I know I've been, I know what I said. No, please. Just, no, put down the poetry. Put down the bottle. Come, come take the wheel. Thank you. Wake up! You don't know where you are. Has this dream stopped? His cold buttocks, pale, white, clinging, sweaty, unclean, down the shell, cold, tile, corporate, governmental issue. You cannot take my car. You cannot take my car. I will drive it to the desert before you auction it off officer no before you do that before you guys repo it buddies i am taking it this is morisson now i'm gonna drive it like a frenchman oh dude it's gonna hum for one last time that's right we're gonna take this into the desert and we're gonna do donuts yeah till there's nothing of that German transmission. There's nothing left of the brakes that you want to put in your Ford. Fine product. Dot number two. We work for Shell also. 
Hey, that doesn't rhyme with the number two. Well, the number two pencil. Uh, going number two, Mr. Connor, uh, the white guy in all of the family who turned his daughter, right, into a vegan. While meanwhile, she turns into an anorexic or bulimic because he's shouting uh, meathead at his uh, as his, at his living boyfriend, right? The crazy, oh, I know, it's a sitcom from the 70s, and we would, they would sit us, that's what our parents would do, they would go fight somewhere or do their drugs, and they would, oh my God, I think we're getting the first traffic. It's gonna stop us here. I started thinking about my parents in my childhood and being locked in a closet with Cosby's uh, skits. That's what he called them. He called them skits. That's why I have trouble explaining it to people in India. Uh, you can't explain it. It's not even Bollywood what the Cosby show hoes were. It's family entertainment. It's Van de Boner, right? Oh, suddenly everyone who's been to a Van de Boner party say they, he doesn't like it when you make that joke, Van de Boner. He doesn't like it. He's saying it's family television. Family television. He's disturbed. I, I have other things to think about. Should we take Venice? We're probably supposed to take... I'm telling you we're supposed to take another exit. But people, would you like to take your character's advice? Let's tell them all to F off. Well, we're not going to do Wilshire. We did that yesterday. You know, there's only so much fun you can have there, right? Around with those school uh, hipster monkeys. No, I'm sorry. They're too, I'm not going to steal that. Um, no, let's keep going Santa Monica. Let's see if there isn't a Venice Beach exit. Let's see if they haven't made one. Jim, can you make us one? Yeah, all right. Well, all right. Okay, beautiful. Come on, give me that bum, the funk, bum, 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 gun, 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 yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Beautiful, underage children taking off their masks and putting it on their genitals instead. Bum, 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 bum. Here, have another drink, Jim. You're slurring your speech. I'm starting my speech now. It's wonderful. Yeah. I'm gonna spit into this homeless man's fire. Fire, dude, do you know that it's 90 degrees, Mr. Morrison? Have you ever been through a, oh, the, 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 going to Venice Beach, yeah, all right. The, 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 I'm gonna talk about cold training and film production with my buddies. Da, da, da. I got another, my guitarist friend, he's just into classical music and flamenco and uh, being healthy or something. Well, just his mind. Yeah, by taking acid. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I miss you, brothers of the doors. Us too, guys. Dun, dun, dun. Should I just go all the way to Lax, people? Lax is the place. Lax is where let's, we can get away. Can we still get away at Lax? You can get away with so much. I used to bring so much over to the border. I right before the mules started to mess it up and the balloons, the quality, were exploding inside the people. Okay, we are not gonna take, we now have four things to get to Lax have now become one. Yeah, how is the, oh, the carpool lanes, two of them, uh, divide all this. All right, now our choices are Los Angeles. We were there, right? They're saying last chance, it's a joke sign and Santa Monica, and that's what we have. That's the right answer, people. We have to take the Santa Monica. We are now going west, I'll trust you. Yeah, you're probably right now. We are gonna turn, though, don't you understand that? The car says southeast, south, east, southeast, south, east, south, east, south. It got it right for once. We are now merging, get this, people. It says 10, but we're merging with the 101, and we are going north. We are exactly in the same place that we were. We could have just jumped from the car. Some of my passengers have done that at night. Yeah, we're going now on Bundy Drive. You know who Bundy is. On all levels, sitcom, killers, right? Jane's Addiction was telling you 
like admit it is this should we take Bundy Drive no that'll be the Santa Monica airport and you're gonna get the airport of flying and I doubt it's open is it maybe we should take a flight there do we have enough money are you kidding me did your ADD and your ADHD mix in there with that bipolar and they've added in the dyslexia to like mess with you and you're thinking auditorial spectrum disorder will be the way that the quadrophenic is going to stay away from schizophrenia it started that way it was a skit a skit a schizophrenia Nah, not schizophrenia. I was dyslexic. Dyslexic? Yeah, I was dyslexic, but maybe I spelt it wrong. Oh, I spelt it backwards, maybe. No, I just spelt it wrong. That's me. I'm open-ended, open-minded. That's what I told them. And they checked some things. They said, how about an ADD? And I threw it out. And I said, ADHD? And I threw it out. But then we said, let's juggle the two. See what happens. Ah, I'm doing what my doctor says. Now I'm juggling all this. Meds and all. It's a lot of meds. All right, juggling those, I threw one out. I think it was the HD, because I'm so not physical. I, my mind says I want to do a lot of things, but I'm tiring right now, just getting back onto the freeway, because suddenly this freeway, that we're in the same place, is forcing us off the freeway to Dewey's Pest Control, and there's a huge, I mean huge, huge flag, American, stars and all, stripes and all, just flying there. It's their pest control say, way of saying we're doing our part in the COVID. But I don't know. I just remember that guy, right? He's shushing the little mouse, right? He's got the, where's the guy with the big old hammer? Over Is that over by Capitol Records? Are we going to ever see that? Or the needle? Can we see the, no, not the space needle. You Are you guys still on Spy Fox's series? You guys, come on. You're, we took you. We took you from him. You're our subscribers. You're our slaves. Just That's Napoleon law. You have to do what we want you to do. We're George Washington and Lincoln. We'll be nice to you, but we're going to use you. Like our forefathers for their Calvinistic fathers they were thinking they needed that sweet warm uh oh here comes the speech from get on the bus was it because what did they want from them these colored geniuses that we were shoving into treating them like clowns of sorts making them row or whatnot sing was it for their singing their sweet melody their beautiful bodies their sweet colorful food and their ways of talking and they always know like like the one on on the 411 switchboard I told you she saved my life and I wanted to join her team right I'm doing the bit that's how we're gonna end it I'm gonna end the bit with the old bit and we're gonna arrive through a tunnel it says Malibu 6 Oxnard 47 we made it we are now on the Pacific Coast Highway and there's the beach Malibu yeah it's not bad all right I take everything oh, but there's that smog maybe it's a fire let's just say it's a fire that'll never go out all right yeah isn't that beautiful that slut of a the city that we took away the armpit of America well California of course um, by Bakersfield, no, Lompo, Fresno. They're, they're trading off Oxnard today for us, for this special 24-hour thing. Now, you guys know that this has been going on for 24 hours almost, and I still have my voice. Uh, how's she doing? Have you guys even checked in with the vocal coach? Have you even asked her, does she know I'm doing this marathon with her? Ah. See, what she wasn't expecting was that I know, because I'm a musician, I know how to, how to do the act. Singers don't know. That's why they're always losing their voices. But a musician, we know how to tailor. Like, you don't want to give it all uh, out. I've seen that done. 
like in the Stooges. I love the Stooges, but you'll see the guitarist does everything in one. I'm saying the old Stooges, not what, you, what I have on the channel. That's the only thing I can do. Uh, that Iggy said, okay, I'll put that on your channel. Uh, he's like, with those, with that band. You know, that was nothing against the country. People don't, he said nice things. Something about that band. Maybe it was, they were kids, millennials. I don't know. I remember speaking to one of them backstage and they were just like, oh my God, I just found out we have another date on the tour. I thought we were gonna go home, right? You know, you're working with Iggy Pop. I wanna kill you, dude. Charles, you would understand this if you were my nephew, but I don't think you are because my nephews, their names are Itai and Itzik, right? No, Itzik is their father, sorry. I just lied to you to make it scary because Itzik, that's, he's scary. He was a cab driver in Los Angeles. Right, I told you where what they were running right on that other tape. You were listening, but I told you the exact coordinates. It was that uh, right after Venetka, you get to the break where we just returned there. Right, you saw that happen, where you heard it happen, um, and suddenly we're on Pacific Coast Highway. Right, no editing. Don't need to do anything fancy, Mr. Uh, raw footage. Ripley Scott, believe it or not. I still don't believe that you did Moreau. I don't think you remember it. I don't think you know you lifted it. All right, you're gonna say you had nothing to do with it. Why is your name there? Right, yeah, Ripley Scott Ridley, give me a break. Stop, people, I've told them on my channel, right? Nobody's gonna mess with my accent anymore. I don't care, you can't hurt me. I'm getting speech therapy. Oh, this is the good part. So there's dunes. Well, what's left of them? They're building something. It looks like now it's rocks. Where did they find those rocks? All right. Well, there's ocean on one side with a parking lot. That's just like Santa Barbara. And then there's the freeway. That's not so Santa Barbara. Then when you, if your children can cross. Oh, now it's being like the freeway used to be in Santa Barbara where there's stoplights. Oh, how'd you guys get that one done, Malibu? Why did Santa Barbara, we had to like take out our lights for you to get back and forth from Los Angeles, and San Francisco or uh, Sacramento, wherever the important business is happening in sitcom land. Oh my God, I just remembered what I told you we were gonna do and we're not doing it and we're doing like a health thing here. I'm just taking you to Santa Barbara. I don't think this is what we should do. I think we should turn around because right now it's becoming traffic and we're going to be staring at more traffic over there in the parking lot. And they must be paying money to park. And this is just traffic, pure traffic all the way to Oxnard. We're going to pass a couple cool places. But didn't I say Musos and Frank? I think we're gonna have to back up. Really, you're gonna, I can get you the soundtrack of the uh, Mr. Bungle. Yeah, we're bringing Bat Mac back Matt Batten. And uh, Mr. Bungle, uh, California, Herboralis, no, they didn't do it. California, Herboralis, California. Now it's night. Not again, 84. Yeah, we gotta keep the dateline going. Knock, knock, knocking at your. Let's do it all now. So it's so relevant to politics because the names are the same. So it starts out something like dun 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 dun, dun. you know, the heavy metal riff, um, just done with bad equipment and with some soul. And then uh, he's like, I'm Governor Jerry Brown, right? Jello Biafra, I'm giving him his shout outs. I sent you, back in the days, all my stuff in envelopes, and I did it all by hand, Mr. Jaffra. And I know you said you didn't like junk mail, and you did a whole thing about it, but I told my friend to shush, right, who was sitting next to me, redoing, like saying out loud with you, your act. That's not cool. If you tried to do that with, uh, Henry Rollins, right, in his, in his uh, working out days to try to compete with Iggy Pop, right? See that one? Yeah, I think he did.
did that one at Soho, that's Santa Barbara, I'm giving another shout out to the small places. It's a little nightclub. No, it can't be. It's called Soho. Right? All right, let's see what the 76 here in the Getty Villa. See how we're still winding up in Getty? 345, that's not that bad, right? It's 335 from the shell, so 10 cents more. But the one we got, right, was 311. That's a good, good, that's a good number. And then, of course, in Santa Barbara, people, if you want to take a nice drive, uh, you'd have to pick where you go if you're coming in from LA, right, of course. There's a way to have the most beautiful drive there without anybody bothering you. That uh, it's a good thing, I think. But oh, the Getty Villa, and there's all these track homes now. They were not here, people, when I was here last time. So that's the beginning of the documentary. Wow. So pre-pandemic, there were all these cool little places that we can eat on this Pacific Coast Highway. Same cars and everything, same traffic. I'm not getting down on that anymore. There's a light. But this Getty Villa, how long has it been there? I don't know, maybe it was already there. But the ones, whoa, what are those buildings up there? There's these weird buildings. They're, they're trying to be ergo. It's what you learn in in school, when you go to architectural school, that's like one of the first assignments is you have to go somewhere, take a picture, and make your house that you're gonna put in there be super ergo, like get into the earth. And you can tell by the shapes here of these things that just popped up that that's what they're trying to do, maybe on paper. It must look good on paper, because that does not look good. You gotta tell that to Ofra and uh, Rob Lowe. It, just because you make, you pick a different kind of uh, shrubbery to make your taller hedge, it's still a hedge. And I'm feeling it, we, let's, I'm not feeling staying here. There's the 27, should we take the 20 to Bank Canyon? Oh, we're gonna take the thing I said we were gonna do. All right, All right let's do that. All right, we're at the Malibu feed bin, that's cool looking, looks like a farm thing. And there's one of those Mexican, uh, we could get the uh, fruit with the crazy hot sauce. Oh, and it's an Asian lady doing it. It's so perfect. I love LA for that. See, that's color. How can you say we're not getting along? I say we're not getting along with our roads. If they're all crooked like that, and, and it's making people like see funny, see red, right? I get it. Like I almost went into a street light because it didn't make sense how it was centered in that particular lighting, right? I'm, you know, they got an excuse. This is, we have stopped in front of, coordinates for the game. We have stopped in front of a gas station that is no longer a gas station, right? It's all chained up, very suspicious, just sitting there. But they do have unleaded and they do have diesel and they still don't want you smoking and they still want you to stop the engine. But it says, unauthorized vehicles not displaying distinguishing placards or license plates issued for disabled persons will be towed away. Do you understand what I'm telling you, you people? I have the placards they're talking about. Yes, free parking to my buddies at Lyft and Uber only. Yeah, so I'm giving this assignment to Dave the Uber slave. Huh. You gotta get back in touch with me, dude. If you don't come pick up these placards, there's gonna be a lot of people in Los Angeles mad at you, because this is prime, dude, parking. Right where you could just go to the beach. You understand what we're talking about here? And I gave you the coordinates. And we're on, you know, 27 North at the Fernwood Pacific Drive. If you wanna say, going toward, supposedly, to this thing, the Sherman Oaks, banquet hall but i wouldn't count on it right we'll go off a cliff before we do that one anyways i'm hiding them. these placards i'm gonna start with 20 i'm gonna make 20 of our subscribers in los angeles very very happy for this summer yeah next summer you're gonna have to fight 
to give these placards to somebody else. You have signed in the terms of endearment, I'll put them under there, with some pens, just take the pens with you people. Here, take some free wood. There'll be water, yes, there'll be water, there'll be free mass. Yes, people, what else would you want entitled? People, no, not you, dude, 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 you're living in your van. Dave, if you're taking all my videos in this way, they're not gonna be funny, you know? You don't understand, parody doesn't mean always that you're, you're being mean and you hate the person and you're giving him the finger. Sometimes it's just the way of doing, showing appreciation in when you're in this kind of art form garden that they've so manicured the rules and everyone's following them that you can't really do anything, right? So once I'm left to do nothing, I got to parody the thing that's making it that I can't do anything. Doesn't it make sense? And you're saying, no, you can't do that. And I'm saying, yes, I'm a comedian. I'm doing it. It's slapstick. All comedians beware. Where did I steal that from? Whom am I stealing from? Won't matter. They won't come out of the dark. Even if Larry David says, wait a minute. I think I heard Louis C.K. say that. That's his language. I'll be like, he sold it to me, right? It's in my videos. I've given it all away. It's my bit. Anyways, you can find these placards hidden under this huge pile of debris. It looks like Alaskan bush people's backyard. No, where they go to have fun. Where the dance, no, where the wedding took place. I don't know. I don't watch the show, people. I, I'm just reading now the text. Yes, I have notes. I, someone said it's a good idea. And there, I just said, well, why don't you just script it like you're, you know, B.I. You're, that's our joke now, since we're writing the script. Yeah, now we have to write the script for both of them, right? And then they want me to play both of the parts, right? So they're asking me to script, which means write dialogue, people, which means actually I'm writing the movie. I'm telling Spy Fox and P.I. what to do in a hotel room while they're making a fourth, right? And I'm asking them, please, I'm doing a serious documentary. What, what are you guys doing? And one of them goes, this P.I., and he's going to stare at the door until I stop filming. Do you see the situation, how it just got out of hand? But I'll do it now. I have the footage. I just filmed you guys. And it seems like you kept the films that you asked for. I, I mean, I downloaded most on the PI's computer. After I did what he wanted, he just wanted me to organize in some files, Charles. That's all it was. It wasn't the big deal that you were showing in your eyes and in your face that had you been wearing a mask, perhaps, and sunglasses, yeah, then we wouldn't have known. And it would make for a really cool icon, I think. Not like me. Me, I'm just a con. See, I'm just conning people. But I'm telling them. I'm the honest one. It's Paper Moon. I'm doing it for my daughter. But she is stealing money from you, like $5 every day. You're just not seeing it, right? You're like, ah, who cares? I know, nobody does. It's called a percentage and they're taking it from you every time you monetize. Luckily, I'm not monetizing so I can sit here and talk to you and not go crazy like I've been going. Been going crazy, you've seen it. All right, we're going back to figuring out how far is Musso and Franks and are they still open? That might be a good thing to find out. So let's do it. Uh, add a report. Right. Directions to where. I'd like you to renew my subscription. Okay, I guess we got to push. I'm going to turn you off and rest so I can concentrate on the navigation for Mr. Morrison because he's not recognizing what you have done to his roads. All right? Think about that. Los Angeles, you think about that with those potholes, these gas stations that are doing peculiar math, right? This new math during a pandemic right next to the beach. Isn't California about that 30 miles of just untouched scenic wildlife? 